Um, I've got a card for you. I'm going to do this one before I left for Maui, but just ran out of time. So I thought I'd pop it and just do this guy live. It features a Stampin' Up! Measure of Love stamp set. You know I had to have this one, right? And um, it's only the second time I've been live on YouTube. Well, actually, I guess it turns out that it's the third time I forgot I went live like years ago on YouTube. So I'm still kind of learning my way around live on YouTube. But I hope you'll enjoy the craft anyways. And that's it. So if you follow me on Facebook, I did this one last Friday before last, before I left for Maui, but didn't get around to doing a clean video for it. So I thought I'd just go live and do it here on YouTube for a little bit more practice. It's a super cute card. That's what we're going to do. So I'll get started. Say hello. I know the comments move pretty fast on YouTube, so I'll try to keep up with them. This is um, Stampin' Up! Coastal Cabana cardstock. It's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to add this awesome texture to it and do a little stamping hey there we go hey marlene yeah those the comments go really really fast all right let's start with some stamping and we're going to use our measure of love stamp set it's photopolymer so i'm going to get the um stamp and pierce mat this is some white cardstock and some ink. Hey, Lisa, I'm back from Maui, and I didn't get a chance to do this card. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Becca. Oh, the trip was so good, but I feel so disconnected from you guys. I was really working hard um, to get everything done before I left, and I didn't do this card on YouTube. I didn't do a clean video for it, but it, last week or two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, Friday, Facebook Live, we did this card. So you might have seen this one. But I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, I'm home. All right. Real red and Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, the Measure of Love stamp set. <laughs> Lisa says she saw my card on the board in Maui. That's it. It was it was there. This was my swap card for the um, Stampin' Up! Achievers trip. We earned a trip to Maui for last year and a trip for Maui for the year before. So I actually did an elite trip with Stampin' Up, which was eight nights in Maui. <laughs> it was really fantastic. I needed it. Um, I work really hard, but I needed it even more because I'm just taking the cares of the world. Um, I had to really take it to heart. I'm just stamping some of the images from Measure of Love using Tuxedo Black, the little scale, the bowl. Uh, let's see here. On my scale, I'm going to use the little needle image with real red ink. Let's see if we can line that up and get it on there nice and straight. So cute. And then real red for little cherries. My life has been a bowl of cherries for about the last, uh, oh, I don't know, eight days. I really took it as a vacation. I checked out. The moderators on the craft social, I guess, had a wonderful time in my absence. <laughs> I still have yet to get in there and check it all out. I'm a little, not really jet lagged, but I'm a little tired. Um, I've been working all day on the paper, the sampler celebration. So if you're part of that, your sampler celebration should go out tomorrow. If you're not in the Facebook group for the sampler celebration yet, get in there. I posted all the project videos and pictures today. Um, my stems are Granny Apple Green. My hearts are Coastal Cabana. It is so cute. And then what else do I need to stamp? While we're stamping, I've got this tag here. It's the smallest clip corner tag from um, the new Taylor Made Tags dies. Hey, Max, can you get this embossing folder or have Violet get it for me? And this uh, sentiment says, our friendship tips the scale. So cute. I'm going to stamp that right on there. Now, it's hard to see if I'm getting it exactly in good placement. Oh, did my hair just fling in front of the camera? Let's see. It's a tight fit, but it's a real good fit. There we go. Oh, cute. <laughs> Kat says, glad I made it there and back safely. I sure did. And I was a little concerned for myself, to be honest. All right, let me get some uh, ink out of the way and some Stampin' Blend markers. 
We don't have a Coastal Cabana Stampin' Blend, but we can use Pool Party and Bermuda Bay to get that color. So let me grab those guys. And I'm gonna do a little gray granite for the scale. All right, so I need light and dark gray granite. There we are. For my scale, I'm gonna do light and dark pool party and light Bermuda Bay, and that'll give us this kind of coastal cabana color scale. Let's get that in there. Oh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of everything, and I started with one of the very first things I'm doing back home is YouTube Live again, and I'm still not completely comfortable with it. Bear with me. Brenda says, welcome home. Hope you had an amazing time in Maui. We had the best time. I've got some coloring and some bossy cutting, so I'll um, fill you in on some of the highlights. So we had, um, I had earned the elite trip, which means I had earned the incentive trip two years in a row. And so the first couple of days were just for demonstrators who had earned both trips. And we got some, an amazing excursion, compliments of Stampin' Up! So my husband and I went zip lining. I've never been zip lining before. Can you guys believe that? Um, I was pretty certain that I was going to hike up the hill and then hike back down. <laughs> that there would be no way that I'd actually zip line across a gorge. And so I was, I was pretty sure. But instead, our guides were like, all right, come on up. Who's first? And everybody just stood there. So I climbed up the stairs and I went first. And that was much better than hiking back down the hill. It was a lot of fun. Have you guys zip lined before? Never did it before, but thanks to Stampin' Up! I just love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, I've had many, many opportunities for personal growth to step out of my comfort zone with Stampin' Up! Um, so zip lining is just one of those things. My whole um, experience, my whole career with Stampin' Up! has been stepping out of my comfort zone, personal growth. It's awesome to be a demonstrator. <laughs> Chrissy says, zip lining is a blast. It really is. But I can't tell you honestly that when I booked the excursion, that I went on the excursion, that I went, when I hiked up, when I hiked up the hill, it was not, I, I was not confident inside of myself that I was gonna actually do it. Still thought that there was a pretty good chance that I was gonna hike back down the hill. So it was very fun and it was just one of many, another one of many opportunities that Stampin' Up! has given me to just grow as a person, to have new experiences. It was pretty amazing. So that was our elite excursion. Thank you, Stampin' Up! Being a demonstrator is more fun and achieving with Stampin' Up! is possible with with work with a little bit of work and a little bit of creativity you can achieve so much with stampin up and that leads me to tell you that there is a joint special being a demonstrator is more fun and it's even more rewarding right now to join there are a regular kit is 125 dollars um, of product for $99, free shipping, lots of other little perks. And right now they're adding even more product to the kit. So if you want some more information about joining Stampin' Up!, please reach out to me. I would love to have you on my team. And being a demonstrator is just amazing. You will have personal growth as a demonstrator. <laughs> Whether it's on stage or on tour they do so much for their demonstrators get products first great training there's so many opportunities um, it's an amazing company to be a part of all right so back to maui then um, the elite demonstrators also got some spa services so um, stampin up paid for us to have some spa services look at my manicure what do you think pretty fancy huh <laughs> so we had um couple of spa services, a massage and manicure pedicure, which was amazing. I needed to unwind. I needed to relax. Um, for the incentive trip itself, Stampin' Up! provided another excursion and we went snorkeling. So have you guys been snorkeling before? 
And I have never been snorkeling before, so another first time. I'm gonna fussy cut these and I'm gonna tell you my story. <laughs> so um, again, when I booked snorkeling, <laughs> hi Linda, <laughs> severe weather alert here in Wisconsin. So I hope I don't lose internet. Oh, I hope you don't lose internet either. I got a story to tell you. Okay, I'll tell it fast because you'll wanna hear. So. Um, as I booked zipline in and snorkeling, I'm like, who do you think you are? You know, cause I'm not very young and, um, I haven't been very active, you know, got a few pandemic pounds on me, broke my leg, leg a couple of years ago. Hey, Ethel, I did see sea turtles. All right. So I'm not feeling very confident in myself, but I'm thinking that these are excursions that my husband's going to love and I am going to push myself a little. So I booked the zip lining and like I said, was pretty sure I was going to hike up the hill and back down, but I did it. And I booked snorkeling thinking, mm -hmm, I might just bob around in the water a little bit, <laughs> but, um, got there, you know, we took a catamaran. It was fantastic we get to the reef and i try to put on a mask and a snorkel and oh my gosh i couldn't figure out how to breathe so it took about six times before i got the, before i got the mask on and could breathe on dry um you know surface on the boat <laughs> so i'm breathing and i go over to the ladder then i have to put the flippers on and I'd already tried to kind of move in the flippers, like I got the feel for them, but of course you can't walk at them. So I'm like, Ugh. so I brought them right to the ladder, put them on, go down the ladder and I'm in the water and I'm wet and breathing. So it's all, you know, getting better here at this point. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Oh, you haven't inked this stamp yet. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, and you gotta show us what you make in the graph social. I love this stamp set. I feel like this measure of love, I'll put it here so you guys can see while I'm cutting, was made for me. So I'm in the water. I'm wet. I'm going to snorkel. I'm breathing. And at this point, I'm like, hey, maybe that's enough, right? But Max is already in the water. So I get in and I'm breathing and paddling. And in Hawaii, you have to, if you have a snorkel, you have to have a flotation device. And I don't know if that's, um, you know, just for tours or if that's you know if you're out there on your own i don't think anybody's going to make you have a a flotation device you know but um as part of a tour they they gave us this little floaty and thank god because i was just learning how to breathe and breathing and kicking <laughs> was a challenge for me so i'm breathing i'm kicking i put my face in the water and there's fish everywhere and then i'm like oh no and at that point i'm ready to go back to the ladder because what if the fish touch me <laughs> Um, Christy says, not when you go on your own. See, and that's what I think, as long as you're not part of a, a group. But I was really glad for the float because I swim strong, but when you gotta swim and figure out how to how to breathe, and there's fish everywhere and you don't want them to touch you, I could have sunk like a stone. And Max is still out there and I still haven't caught up with him. Max is my husband, by the way, if you're new to kitchen table stampers. So he's in the water and I'm trying to get over to him without any fish touching me, because they are everywhere. And they're beautiful and they're tropical and I'm not yet starting to relax. But then Max comes, you know, up next to me. We're kind of kicking around and looking and then heads up and we talk a little bit about what we saw and I'm doing all right, right? Then we turn and we start heading the other direction. He's like, look at the sea urchins, look at the sea urchins. And I did not see any sea urchins. I was so disappointed. So now I'm starting to be interested in this snorkeling thing and trying to see what I can see, right? The fish are not coming too close to me and I'm feeling comfortable with them now. It took a little while to feel comfortable with them, but they proved that they weren't gonna bite me or anything. <laughs> um, yes, I did see a parrotfish, I did not see an eel. And so we're swimming across behind the boat and there it is, this huge sea turtle. And it just kind of spirals up to the surface, pokes its head up, gets a breath, comes down and it's spiraling and it's swimming toward me. I'm not kidding you, it's swimming toward me. And I didn't want to touch a sea turtle. I just wanted to see a sea turtle. So I throw it in reverse and I'm like swimming backwards and still watching. I'm in awe and I'm surprised at like the beauty of it. And I'm saying to myself, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm really seeing this, but I don't want it to get me. <laughs> And so 
I'm still kind of back paddling, and Max is moving toward the sea turtle and following the sea turtle. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I saw it, but I'm not following it. No way. <laughs> so he's kind of going in that direction across, um, the, like, with the shore behind the boat and following the sea, tur- the sea turtle, and I'm just kind of turned towards the boat. I'm thinking maybe I'll go back towards the boat. A lot of the people were closer to the boat at this time. We'd been out for a while. And I figured Max could catch up. He'd be going to the boat anyways. All right, so here is my ribbon for my tag. I just thread it through. It's the Playful Pets Combo Trim Pack. I love this ribbon combo pack with this stamp set. Oh my gosh, they're a match made in heaven, don't you think? All right, so I'm going to tie a bow and I'm going to tell you the rest of my story because here's where it gets crazy. So Max is gone and I'm kind of by myself heading back towards the people and I'm calming down after the turtle started swimming toward me and looking down and there's a shark and it just goes gliding across the bottom of the ocean in between one reef and another and well like and another and another okay so there's these little pieces and it just comes gliding right and then in between the reefs and gone and i can't decide if i am entirely amazed or if i'm completely panicked i think it was both i look up i go and yell in with a snorkel in my mouth shark shark i'm like oh don't yell he'll get you (laughs) or she'll get you I don't know if it was a boy shark or a girl shark. How do we even tell these things? All right, I'm going to get some dimensionals and put them on the back of the the items that I just cut out and on the back of my tag. And so, so the shark, right? It's gone. And I go swimming for our lifeguard because we've got a guide who's also our in-water lifeguard. Go swimming for him. And I'm like, a shark, a shark. I saw a shark. And he goes, yeah, probably a, a white tip shark it was probably about six foot long not too wide very very slim and there was nothing between me and the shark but water what a crazy experience so it was completely magical that uh, although that's what um I should, I should call you Christy now, but (laughs) that's what they, uh, that's what our guide told us is that they really are completely harmless, these white tip sharks, and um, they do not want to work hard for their meal. Their, 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 their function and their vital role is to keep the reef clean. So they like the fishes that are uh, they, they clean up the, the weak fishes, turtles, and keep the reef healthy. So they don't want to work too hard for their meals, <laughs> is what our guide told us. But boy, I didn't know whether I should panic or... <laughs> I did kick for the boat, though. I paddled for the boat, and I stayed really close to it. But I didn't get out right away, and I was glad for that, because then I saw my sea urchins which are really cool. Oh, it was just a lot of fun. We had a really, really good time. Um, One once in a lifetime experiences, um, a lot of personal growth, just like with Stampin' Up! And they really did go above and beyond. All right, this is a stitched scallop rectangle. And it is from Stitched So Sweetly. I think it's the second largest but I did this before the trip and I want to make sure. Yeah, so this is that second largest, that three and five eighths by two and a half from Stitch So Sweetly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my scale pieces on there. Oh, I'm gonna do just a tiny bit right of center. That'll give us a little bit more room for our sentiment. So like on the stitches at the bottom, almost to the stitches there. <laughs> Because this is you're hearing the theme from Jaws in your head. Run! I was I was ready to run. Uh, that's what I was hearing in my head. Run! Breathe! I'm trying to breathe through my nose again. I thought I was over that. When you see a shark, all the rules about breathe through your mouth just disappear for a little while. Oh, Christy, it was it was incredible. It was crazy. 
but it was it was incredible. So the trip was really great. I'm very glad I'm home. I completely checked out. I missed you guys a lot. I did. I didn't even really post pictures or anything. In the craft social, I posted some of the my favorite swaps um, for your inspiration, but that's it. That's part of why I'm like, let me just jump on and do that part I didn't finish um, before I left because I wanted to just check in with you guys and let you know that I'm okay. Um, I'm here. I'm home. I'm not super jet lag. I made myself work really hard yesterday, um, cleaning up and getting ready uh, for, you know, back to work. I uploaded all the videos I had edited on the plane. So I was working and then I stayed up until about 1030, went to bed, got the best night's sleep. So I think I'm past like the hardest challenges for jet lag. <laughs> all right. This is the Ornate Floral 3D embossing folder. I'm going to just pop this guy in and then in the machine and give it a crank. What, all right, so what else? There was a luau, I've never been to a luau before. And that was really cool, we took some video. I will be sharing a couple of things from the trip, like, um, and then they had an Aloha Carnival at the beginning of the Maui trip, between the Elite and the Maui achievers there was a carnival that was just adorable the resort was gorgeous the weather um we had one day that threatened rain it was a little cool i had to get my hoodie but the weather was fantastic it was just so good <laughs> so glad you decided to go no koi i learned all about no koi and a fantastic cocktail that bears the name oh you know what i didn't do uh live video i'm gonna fix it anyways i didn't put my little D reinforcer. So let me do that really quick. I'm just gonna glue that on there and retie the bow. Let me show you this die set. This is the new tailor-made tags dies. I just put them away today and clearly I didn't put them in the right place. Um, and it's got this little, the little tag that we cut, but also this little D-shape reinforcer, which I think is a great little detail. So let me glue that guy on there. And um, while we've got glue, we're going to put some designer series paper down. So we'll do both of those. I'm going to let that firm up a little before I rethread the ribbon and tie it. Okay, almost there. See, but it makes a really cute detail. So you can reinforce the hole. And then when you tie the ribbon in, doesn't it look so pretty? <laughs> All right, so let's do this while that sticks. Look at that gorgeous like um i don't know like floral damask pattern love this paper so much this is from the host exclusive pack the pattern party oh i should that just reminds me again just a little more housekeeping as more of you are joining just in case if you're part of the sampler celebration your sampler celebration packets will go out um tomorrow and i'm got the Facebook group all set up and you've all been invited either through Facebook or by email. So get in there and join us. And if you aren't in there yet, you're having any trouble, send me a message. All right, I'm gluing down our scale scallop piece, multi-purpose liquid glue again. But uh, some of this paper is included in your sampler and we featured it hard in the class this time for the sampler celebration. Both sides are good on that one. Oh, I know. I I hate when both sides are good. We got a Christmas paper as one of the um, pillow gifts. I'll show you if you want me to. I was going to do it on Facebook right after, so I can show you if you want to see. Uh, from the new holiday catalog, it's a Christmas paper. And, um, the, pat the patterns are all super cute, but of course... Uh, the B sides on this particular paper, it's a kind of a pet theme Christmas. And the B sides are just as awesome as the A side. So it's going to be a hard one. <laughs> Steve Peaks, yay. All right. If you want to hang out with me, I'm going to show you some holiday catalog stuff. All right. Let me trim this guy here. And then I shredded the edge a little bit. So I got to clean it up and then we can pop this back on. I think we're done. <laughs> I was so busy talking, I didn't realize that I think we're done. Okay, get the dimensionals off of that. Pop that one on. 
I don't want it to touch the scale, but pretty close. I'm using the um, buffalo check to make sure it's level. Ta-da! We did it! <laughs> Chrissy wants to see. That's the, what I'm talking about. That paper is nuts. Okay, let me show you that. So there's our, <laughs> there's our card for today. The project sheet is already on the blog. So kitchentablestamper.com if you want uh, measurements, a full color photograph. So my project sheets are always there. You'll find the embedded video and then below you can click a link and it opens a principal project sheet where you'll have a full color, full color photograph, the measurements, and then the supply list of everything that I used today. All right, so since I've got all y'all's attention and because Christy loves sneak peeks, let me show you some of the pillow gifts that we got. So we got gifts from the new holiday catalog that'll be coming out um, for pre-order for demonstrators in, let's see here, July, and for customers to order from in August. So this is all product that is not released yet. It's not available yet. So you won't see me do a whole lot with it for a little bit, except for planning and stuff. Right, so this is the paper that I was talking about that I can't stand because it's both sides are good. A sides, B sides. It's going to be hard to glue one side of this down. It's called Sweet Stockings. It's a 12 by 12 paper. And let me show you. It's 12 by 12. I got to move around some of the stuff here. So this is the A pattern. And then totally useful B pattern. Look at that. All right, so then this is a pattern. Look at these guys in the strings. Aren't those the cutest thing ever? So cute, but this paper, like I don't want to put glue on that side. Look at that cool stripe, multicolor. This is so me. This is the meest paper ever. All right, so that's B side. And then this one with the cats. <laughs> Look at this one's face. You guys, do you see this one's face? It cannot be bothered with the antlers on its head. <laughs> the cutest thing ever. So there's your cat paper. And then this one with a kind of stitch cherry cobbler pattern. I love this. And I'll tell you, there's a die set that will cut the stockings out. Aren't they cute? I didn't get that die set, though. I got a different one. And then stars on evening evergreen. Really, really pretty. I love the goldfish bowl. Let me hold that one up to the camera. Can you see the little goldfish bowls? So cute. <laughs> Christy says, YouTube's blurry. Show again on Facebook. That's what I'm doing next, sister. I'll meet you over there. <laughs> and then this stripe pattern. Is that not like a perfect Christmas or masculine? And then this is the one that really got me. When I was like, you've got to be kidding me. There is not a side on this pattern that should have glue on it. Look at that. So I'm thinking this has got to be used for like gift bags, right? So both sides can be seen. You don't have to glue it down. I love the string of lights. And I love the pool party crosshatch. I love the B sides on these. This would be fantastic for anything. This paper does not say Christmas or anything else. You can put flowers with this and you can put vegetables with this and you can put vacuum cleaners with this. Like, look at, that's just the best paper ever. I mean, look, measure of love. It's a perfect paper for measure of love. Doesn't look like a tablecloth. This paper is awesome. This one's great for masculine stuff right here. This one, this one's my least favorite, but I'm telling you, it looks like Halloween to me with that dark background and those gold stars. And then this. These mittens. So the back side, the B side of this paper is really, really as awesome as the A side. So that's what I was talking about where I'm like, I just don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna cut that up. Uh, look at this. Get it, I'm all out of order and I don't care. I'm gonna try not to get it too messy because I am gonna go and do my Facebook, but look at that. Okay, let's hide all the Christmas. And then look at this right here. Is that not so kitchen? Oh my gosh, that is so kitchen. <laughs> All right, so that is one of the papers. This was left on our 
No, this one came in the night when we got our bag. So Trip Achievers usually get a bag from Stampin' Up. We got a adorable beach tote. And in there was this paper. And just too cute. I think that was the night. I think. At least that's how I photographed it. So I hope that I photographed accurately. All right, then we got, this is the first pillow gift that we got. And it is the new silver metallic foil. So it's called Silver Foil Specialty Pack. And it's got three different, and it goes almost a black inky silver. And I think the light is showing pretty good right here. It's got kind of a, a brushed finish. Really cool. This will be fantastic for Halloween. And then it's got um, matte finish that's kind of medium. And then it's got a bright finish that almost looks like um, uh, stainless steel. Like your stainless steel appliances, it has kind of a green to it. So really cool new silver foil. That was a fun one. That's coming in the new holiday catalog also. So August, you guys. August, you can order this. Unless you're a demonstrator, you can order from the catalog next month, June, July. No, in July. They pushed it off one month because of supply issues, and they think it was a smart idea. The whole world is having supply issues, right? All right, this one is called Painted Christmas. I love this one, too. These are hand painted. I love this one and I love this one. So there's another one where I can't decide which pattern gets the glue, but that's A, B. Look at these adorable pine cones. Isn't that great? I love pine cones. I'm so glad there'll be silver foil. I was sad when I didn't see any in the annual. I know. I'm telling you. A side, B side of that one. It's it's a staple, isn't it? Die cut silver foil. It makes the best embellishments. All right, so this is A side, B side. Look at the soft sea foam with Holly. It, this is out of the box for me. This is out of my comfort zone. We'll see what I do with that. But this, I love this. I don't know what it is back there. Um, crumb cake or Sahara sand or what in the background. And then the three shades of green. I love this paper. It's a bit busy as a whole. I will definitely be cutting it into pieces. And then pine cones, so again, for your outdoors and for your masculine projects too, this is great. And then this one, very, I don't know, this is almost a little bit picnic-y, it can be summery, it's outdoorsy. So when I saw this pattern, I was like, oh, this is a good outdoorsy kind of a pattern, A and B sides. This one with the sprigs instead of the berries and the multicolor leaves, this, this has kind of a, I don't know, almost even like a wedding kind of feel to me. I don't know. This one has definitely got that winter feel because of the sprigs where this one is kind of outside the box. Like with this, these are not Christmassy at all. So I think you can get a lot of mileage out of this paper pack too, not just Christmas. You can get some winter and some masculine. I love this pattern. Isn't that crazy? I don't know, like cranberries or something. Just so cute. And then berries and sprigs. So that was set on top of that red ink. <laughs> Good thing it was red paper. Okay, that's Painted Christmas. And then with that suite is the Christmas season photopolymer stamp set. And this, this is called Seasonal Layers. I am so glad for more shapes. Look at this. The Seasonal Layers has your dyes. So for your holly, for your sprigs, for your, I don't know, pine cones, the big one, the smaller one, then this little, for the berries and the sprig. So you stamp it in green, stamp it in red, and then cut the whole thing out. Love that. But look at these fun shapes. So this and this nest, this is a similar shape, but it's kind of squashed out and bigger. And then look at this one. I wish I could show you the sample in the catalog where they layer these different shapes together. So cool. And then the long skinny. 
and then a smaller long skinny, you see? And then this little dude here goes on the end so you can make ribbon run through it or make it a tag. And then these long skinnies can go here and you can make it a tag where you can run ribbon through. Pretty cool, huh? So lots of possibilities with those, um, with the little dies that make the holes. You don't have to have any tag or any label with holes in it. You can have it just solid, but you could add them in. With a little bit of low tack tape or washi tape, you can position, tape it all together to make it one and then cut it. I think this is gonna be so much fun to use. I was very excited about this product. And then of course the hand painted um, greenery will be awesome. Get a good Christmas stamp set. And that'll be a great card making right there. <clears throat> I got this one when I spin the wheel. So um, in the uh, hospitality room, they have a prize wheel. And every day you spin for a prize. I got this one. It's called Intricate Leaves. And there is a stamp set that goes with it. I didn't get the bundle, just the dies. But look at this. I love, love these intricate leaves. So expect to see me use lots of these as embellishments and with great sentiments. Right, here's another one. Let me show you this. So with the leaves, right? Or the labels and these hand painted greenery things. Isn't this cute? This is called Well Defined. And gratitude, Christmas, winter, holiday, Halloween, all these fun little definitions. Oh, it's blurry. I'm so sorry. I wonder if the replay will be any more clear. Let me try one thing and see if it helps. Mm, no, that's not even going to help. Well, we'll try and see if it does anything. All right. And if you're hanging out here and it's blurry now, try the replay, see if it's any more clear. If you follow me on Facebook, I'll be doing little sneak peek again on Facebook. So check check it out there. Any snow effects? Mm, there's a great um, suite that's all kind of icy. And then there's a new snow bundle. So yeah, there's a lot of snow stuff coming. All right, so that's well-defined. That was one of my prizes. Uh, this is another prize off of the prize wheel. Uh, this is let me get a pair of scissors and just open this up this is the ribbon that coordinates with the pet paper so really cute i love the pool party stripe it's kind of fun and whimsical it goes really great with those b-side papers whether you do pets or not that paper and this ribbon would make really good whimsical christmas stuff so ties nice it's a little uh, it's a grow grain it's got a fine little grow grain line and it's not really stiff but it's a solid ribbon it's not a soft silky floppy ribbon so I mean if you you look at it it's kind of a stiff ribbon Donna said all better now yes yeah, got blurry into the paper then it straightened out yet all better now hello oh you know what I took I was not on Wi-Fi because sometimes my Wi-Fi causes a problem but I actually put myself back on Wi-Fi so maybe that's helping Something to add snow to the pine cone like glitter. Oh, that'd be so good. No, nothing really. I can't wait to go through the catalog in more detail. I've been so busy. But no, I think we're going to have to stick to like the, um, uh, what is this stuff? The paste, the embossing paste. But no glitter. What happened to all of our glitter, right? Look at this background. Isn't that adorable? That's a candy canes background stamp. Can't wait to play with that. And then this one is called Subtle Shimmer Sequins. So talk about snow, snow effects, snow stuff. It's got an iridescent white, a pearly white, a bright silver, a matte finish silver, all different sizes. Look at this. This is the little tiniest one. Do you see how bitty that is? But lots of shimmer. I'm, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. This again says Halloween to me. Like those dark um, foils. 
So expect that you'll see some of those dark foils and these shimmer sequins in Halloween projects. I think that uh, they're definitely multitaskers. Oh, runaway sequin. <laughs> and lastly, this, oh no, two more. I got one more pack of paper. This is the cute Halloween six by six paper. I think it's adorable. So we've got a cute Halloween this year. Yay, I like cute Halloween. <laughs> and then black and white back. It says boo. And then these guys. Aren't they cute? Let me tell you this. There's a punch that punches them out. I know. Okay, sorry. That's enough spoiler alerting. Look at this pretty multicolor polka dot. Love that. Candy corns and candies. Look at the little bat. Isn't he dopey? So cute. And then I love black and orange stripe. Very traditional. Black and white polka dot. So your black and white side is going to be very... Um, let's see if I can show them all as we go. All right, so polka dot, kind of a solid mottled solid the stripe those are all going to have lots of uses besides halloween the skull again these little front facing ones there's a punch and then the scrap no bat punches i think i think in a die maybe i need to look at my catalog better and get prepared for these questions and then old olive with haunted houses you see how bitty those are so cute and then skulls and bats and ghosts and then a multicolor stripe i do like this stripe and then kind of squiggles i see this with that big cat set from so there's the halloween paper oh wait i got an a side sticking up on my b sides there we go with the black and white back pretty good huh <laughs> All right, so that's the Halloween paper. And then my last one is a die set. My last product sneak peek. Thanks for hanging with me. I didn't know I was gonna do this here. I thought I was just gonna go over to the other site and do it. This is called Pretty Pillow Box. Oh, my cute. So it's a little pillow box. Let me see. And it's gonna be probably, when it's finished, it's gonna be about two and an eighth by about two and an eighth from the so this is going to fold on a um, semicircle like this, on a curve like that. So it's about two and an eighth here and about two and an eighth here. So it's kind of little. Pretty cute. <laughs> and then the label that goes with it imitates this edge, which is a fold down edge. So it's going to fold over this edge. It's going to fold over this edge that is kind of got like a little thumb notcher where you can get your treats out. This is gonna make the cutest purse. I'm going to make a purse with it. So cute, so that's the pretty pillow box, guys. And that's it, that's all my sneak peeks for you. They're coming in August. I'm assuming that when we have pre-order in July that you'll be able to order any of these products in your starter kit. Usually that's the case with Stampin' Up. They can always change things on us that happens they change the rules sometimes and throw us for a loop but um so july for demonstrators july likely july in starter kits and then august is when the catalog is going to go live and that's it that's my little sneak peek for you and my tutorial so if you're looking for a project sheet for the measure of love card that we did you can buzz over to kitchen table stamper.com the project sheet's already there and shop stampin up 24 7 or to join buzz over to marissa alvarez at stampinup.net got any questions about the project or the products email marissa at kitchen table stamper.com anything from celebration no i'm not kidding you so i was out to dinner first or second night with um probably second night with home office and they were doing, uh, they wanted to pick our brains about a particular topic. And that happens sometimes when you're on these incentive trips, they'll ask you like a focus group dinner kind of. And um, Andy told us that he had this celebration brochure with him. We tried to get him to give it to us, 
But he didn't. He didn't. Calm down. Calm down. We all know he didn't give it to us, even though we had it with him on the trip. But no, we haven't seen anything about celebration. I can't wait, though. It's going to be so good. <laughs> Rhonda said, thanks for show and tell. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for caring enough to hang out with me. Thanks for your time this evening. I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to be back stamping. There's no place like home. There's no place like your own bed. <laughs> Got to sleep in my own bed last night. It was glorious. I can't wait to do it again tonight. But not until after dinner and setting up an online classroom and a couple other things. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you buzz over by the blog. If there's anything I can do to help you, reach out. I'll see you guys with more videos probably later this week. <laughs> Christy says we missed you. Oh, thank you. I missed you guys like crazy. Did you guys have fun on the um, craft social? I haven't looked at everything. I had just peeked in uh, when we were on the bus back from, um, we went to Lahana on a bus and on the way back, while I had internet, which was only part of the ride, I was looking in. I couldn't believe all the shenanigans from Jackie and Katie. I hope you guys had a good time there. I'm going to go and uh, do a Facebook Live and then spend some time in the craft social. <laughs> Maybe do some of the challenges that they laid down for you guys. All right, that's it. I'm really off. I'm going to do one more sneak peek video before the night's over. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.